Well, it looks like it's another day. We're going to go ahead and head on out to the garden today because I have some stuff that I got to clip. Um, I've been thinking about some of the things going on with the seeds. So I need to take some of those seeds and cut them and bag them up a little bit later. So let's go ahead over there and start doing that. Plus, there's a couple things I need to put in the ground that just should have been in the ground a long time ago. So let's go. What you see right here is what I am going to be working on. I need to start getting some of these seeds off of here because otherwise they're going to start falling off. So this is the one that I really, really need to make sure that I collect these seeds. It is, this is the African blue basil of the big, big bumblebees out here. Good Lord. I don't know their scientific name, but I know one thing. I've been stung by them before. Look at them. Lord of mercy. They are all over. Holy smoke. I'm kind of nervous. So I got stung by one of these before and it was really, really bad. It hurt so bad. When it comes to getting a lot of these uh, seeds off, it could be dangerous sometimes if you get stung up a bunch of times by these big bumbles. I mean, they, they're over here fighting and everything. Wow. Well, I'm gonna have to try to get, get some of these and these off today. The tools that I have on me right now is this one right here. It's got a little lever that can with spring action on it so we just go like that and cut them off and then this one right here has the little swing arm on it that keeps it closed but it's not too bad i like to use both you can find stuff like this at your local hardware store or garden center I'm going to go ahead and separate them. You want to make sure that you have two different containers when you separate two different types of seeds. One of the best reasons that you don't want to have only one container to collect a whole bunch of seeds together. The reason is you don't want to cross pollinate certain plants because you might end up not getting the real herb or plant that you're trying to grow it, it it'll be more of like a blend of the two so that's why i have two different types of containers and i separate them i'm gonna collect that one and this one there's there's i just got to be careful because of these big bumbles well let's try at it What I like to do, okay, is get way down, right below where the last seeds start to get onto the leaves, okay? And I'll show you what I mean. Right there, see? That's the last one. And you can see where I cut it off at.
trying not to disturb them too much while I do this because I don't want to get stung. Huh? <sighs> well, everything's starting to look a lot better. You see how I've taken everything off of it so far? I'm gonna keep on going and then, you know, some of these really tiny ones, I'll just pinch those and just take it off. See that one right there? And then it'll give it a long time before it seeds up again. And then these right here, see? There's another one. Just take those off. See the beginning of the seed? See it? They're a little purple. I just pinch those right off the really small ones, you know? But the other ones, I go ahead and I cut them right below. Oh, 
to see how long these get. You can see where the, these are the flowers that the bees like to grab and pollinate with. Careful. I don't want to get stung. Kind of got nervous right there when I'm flying around. Just, yeah, see, that's the little things right there, the little seeds start to grow off the flowers. See the little seeds? Right there. Yep. Well, this is a really nice little tool to I'll tell you what. Well, here we go. Here is the large container that I collected all the seeds and I will be able to save these and I'll be able to have a lot more for some more beds that I'm gonna be doing next season. This is what it looks like after I got all the seeds off. Okay. That one right there is next. I'll be doing that probably tomorrow. Look at that. And what this will do is cause it to start growing again. So we'll put some more weight on it and some more height. That's a nice one. And this is my awesome Thai basil. I love it. This smells really good. And I'm really happy that I was able to get this much. Look at that. Oh, wow. And the smell is amazing. Well, I want to say thank you for joining us right here today at Herbal Gardens Homestead. Thank you for coming with me to collect some seeds. And remember, love your land, and it'll love you back. Take care. See you next time.